Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we have two very large bottles of water, and these both have a high pH level. And so first up is Iceland Spring Water. It's a pretty simple name, which explains what it is. It's spring water from Iceland. And the main thing about this is it has a 8.88 pH level, and it's a pretty good pH level. And it says it's from a remote island near Reykjavik in Iceland. And it says there's nothing added to the water, nothing taken out. It's just water from Iceland. This was a dollar and ninety-nine cents. This is from the store East End Food Co-op. And it's one and a half liters, so it's a pretty big bottle. Okay, next up is Life Water. It's not water, it's water. It's it's Missing some letters, some vowels there. So this is from Target, and it's a dollar twenty-five per bottle, and this is made by Pepsi Co. Even on the receipt from Target, I don't know if you can see that, but it literally says Pepsi. It doesn't say water; it just says Pepsi because it's made by Pepsi. And so they're really marketing this pretty strong right now. Um, this, they even had an ad at the Super Bowl for this bottle of water, which costs them, you know, millions and millions of dollars just to air the ad. Um, so anyway, let's just open these up and get started. This is a lot of water. I'm probably not going to finish all of it. Uh, so these both have full-size lids. And I bet they fit on each other. Yeah, they, they have matching lids. Here's Iceland. It's a good water. It's pretty good. kind of good going down. You know, when it first hits, you hit your tongue, it's good, but there's kind of like a little bit of a tiny, tiny bit of a plasticky aftertaste with this one. I mean, normally, if I'm just having lunch or something, if, if I'm not reviewing the water, I wouldn't care. It's not a big deal at all, but it, it is there. I mean, if you look at these the websites for these bottles, with the um, the Iceland water, it's obvious that their focus is having the best quality water possible. Like they just talk about the water, they talk about where it's from. They don't care what the bottle looks like. They don't really care at all. If you look at the Life Water website, the only thing that they talk about is like the the design of the bottle and like they talk about the artists who made the pattern on here and so the deal with this life water is when you're shopping for this at the store right now there are three different designs for the bottle from three different artists and i think the idea is in the future they're gonna hire more and more artists to make more designs for the bottle and just keep the logo on there but have a different um design on there but the thing is, if I'm thirsty, I don't care what the bottle looks like, really. I don't care what the design is. I just care about, you know, the best water. So, I mean, it makes sense that this would come from Pepsi, where, you know, for Pepsi, it's really, marketing is really important for them, and advertising. Um, and it, it is, I mean, it's not an ugly bottle at all. It's kind of like smart water, and, um... It's cool that they have a, a texture to the bottle. Like you can actually feel the the art. It's not just a flat sticker that they put on there. It's, you can actually feel it. Um, and there's here's here's one of the other ones, just to give you any an idea. This is a separate one I bought from Giant Eagle. With a separate design on it from a different artist. Here's a fun fact: this bottle is smaller but it's actually more expensive than the big one. 
for some reason, because it's from Giant Eagle, which is an expensive store compared to Target. So that you can get an idea of the uh, the designs on there. So Life Water says it has a balanced pH level, and um, it's bottled in New York. And New York is actually known for having good water. I don't think it's as good as uh, Iceland. I mean, don't get me wrong. These are both getting a thumbs up for me. Um, but I'll, I'll just say right now, I think <sighs> Iceland tastes a little better going back and forth out of, out of these two. And I even hate to say that, to be honest. Because one of these is moving on to the next round of reviews. And I was expecting it to be this. That's why I bought this water. And so, for the next round of reviews, I'm going to have to go back to the store to buy another one of these. So I'm kind of mad that I'm picking this one, but I just have to. Because it, it just tastes better. This is a lot of water. See these standard size bottles? This is this big bottle is three of these. This is two of these. So it's like I'm drinking five of these right now. And about <laughs> 45 minutes ago, I did a review of Voss water. I drank th three of those. So <laughs> five plus three, it's like I'm drinking eight of those right now. So. Very hydrated. Ah. It's a lot of water. Another interesting thing is this is not the only brand of water called Life Water. There's actually a charity called LifeWater.org which gives um, support to Ethiopia. So why did they pick a, a, a brand name that already exists? You know, people are going to get confused. I should mention this is filtered with reverse osmosis. Life water has magnesium sulfate and potassium bicarbonate. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this. It's life water. Um, and even the even the Super Bowl ad like made it clear that their focus <laughs> is like being colorful for the bottle. Their focus was not the water. The, the Super Bowl ad for Life Water didn't really mention the water at all. These are these are both getting a thumbs up from me, but this one is better out of the two. So congratulations, Iceland Spring Water. You're moving on to the next round.